This was a game the Jets could not afford to lose. This was to keep their playoff hopes alive. This was to create a situation where Aaron Rodgers would return next week against the Commanders for a late season run. And they came out here in Miami against a team in the Dolphins without Tyreek Hill, their MVP candidate, arguably the best player on their offense, and they lost 30 to nothing. Maybe most alarming is how unprepared this team looked, uninterested in playing this game, lifeless at times. As Alan Lazard said in the locker room, Alan Lazard, of all people, the Jets were not only out-schemed, but they were out-efforted. That is a damning assessment on the state of this organization right now. It calls into question the foundation of this team. Woody Johnson does not want to make changes. Joe Douglas is expected to be back next year. Robert Sala and his staff are expected to be back next year. He believes they have the right people in place right now to get this team to the Super Bowl. That was the thought when this season began. But when you start to hear things like that from the players on this roster, it makes you question everything. I don't necessarily know where the Jets go from here. They're going to make additions this offseason. They'll address an offensive line that's been plagued by injuries. They'll add another receiver, potentially Devontae Adams. But is that enough? You thought this was a Jets team that was going into the season close. Even when they lost Aaron Rodgers, you thought they would show signs that they were close to hoisting another Lombardi trophy. Now, they look as far away as they ever have been.